I've previously discussed the role of dietary lignans in the reduction of breast cancer risk and improvement in breast cancer survival based on studies like this that showed that women with breast cancer with the most lignans appeared to live longer. But lignans are found throughout the plant kingdom— uh, seeds, whole grains, vegetables, fruits, berries. So how do we know lignans weren't just a marker for the intake of unrefined plant foods? Uh, for example, those that eat lots of plants, vegetarians, have about eight times the lignan intake of omnivores. And the one that ate the most plants, the vegan, was off the charts. So maybe lignans are just a marker of a healthier diet. Well, in a petri dish, lignans were shown to not only have direct anti-cancer growth activity against human breast cancer cells, but also prevent their migration, as I previously showed. So it was finally put to the test, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial of flax yeast, the world's most concentrated source of lignans. In breast cancer patients, found that flax appears to have the potential to reduce human breast cancer growth in just a matter of weeks. So I started recommending ground flax yeast to breast cancer patients, but what about preventing breast cancer in the first place? Similarly, high lignan intake associated with reduced breast cancer risk, but maybe that's just saying high plant food intake helps in general. So they gave women at high risk for breast cancer a teaspoon of ground flax seeds a day for a year, and they showed, on average, a drop in precancerous changes. But what about flax seeds and breast cancer itself? Outside of an experimental setting, there just weren't a lot of women eating flax seeds regularly to study until now. Matching 3,000 women with breast cancer to 3,000 women without, they found consumption of flaxseed alone and of flax bread was associated with a 20-30% reduction in breast cancer risk. As flaxseeds are packed with lignans, only a small daily serving of flaxseeds is required to attain the level of lignan intake associated with a reduction in breast cancer risk. As it appears that most women do not consume flaxseed, and that small amounts may be associated with reduced breast cancer risk, we might want to consider intervention to increase the prevalence of flaxseed consumption. The latest review summarized the associations between flax and decreased risk of breast cancer in the first place, better mental health, and lower mortality among breast cancer patients. The only other study of flax and brain health I'm aware of was an exploration of 100 commonly used drugs and supplements on cognition in older adults, uh, found that flax uh, was one of the few things that appeared to help. In terms of why flax seeds may play a role in preventing and treating breast cancer, there's an inflammatory molecule called interleukin-1, which may help tumors feed, grow, and invade. So our body produces an interleukin-1 receptor antagonist. It binds to the IL-1 receptor and blocks the action of IL-1. And the activity of this protective inhibitor can be boosted with the drug tamoxifen, or by eating flax seeds. In premenopausal women, the pro-inflammatory profile of interleukin-1 could be counteracted by a dietary addition of a few spoonfuls of ground flax. One month of, one month of flax was able to increase the anti-inflammatory inhibitor levels by over 50% better than even the drug. Yes, having one's ovaries removed may reduce breast cancer risk as much as 60%, but at the cost of severe side effects. The drug tamoxifen may you know, reduce the incidence of breast cancer by more than 40%, but may induce other severe side effects such as uterine cancer and blood clots. That's why less toxic, even safe, breast cancer prevention strategies such as dietary modification need to be developed. And these lignan phytoestrogens and flax seeds may be one successful route because of the you know, data showing reduced breast cancer risk and increased overall breast cancer survival. Now, lignans are not a magic bullet to prevent breast cancer. You can't just uh, sprinkle some flax on your bacon cheeseburger, but uh, as a part of a healthy diet and lifestyle, they may help reduce breast cancer risk in the general population.